I'm going to show you how to make a glass panel on the side of a hollow object. For example, let's create a new component. We'll call this component box. Then we'll create a sketch on the ground plane. We'll get a center rectangle. Then we'll draw out 100, tab 100. We'll go ahead and extrude this up 100. Now we want to cut an object into this side. So we'll create a sketch on this side. Once again, we'll get a center rectangle. And we'll make this 50, tab 50. We'll also dimension this from the sides. So we can dimension this down 25. And if we want to have it from this side as well, we'll dimension it 25. We'll finish our sketch. Before we extrude, we're going to shell this box. So we'll click shell and we'll make the thickness three millimeters. Then we'll extrude this piece through by pressing E and it'll be a cut operation. Now we don't have anything here. What we want to do is create a sketch that goes all the way around this piece. So what I'm going to do is construct a mid plane and I'll click this plane and this plane. And as you can see, I have a plane right in the middle. I'll say, okay. Then I'm gonna create a sketch on that mid plane. I wanna project in the geometry of the interior space. I'll say, okay. So now you see I have this path right here. I'll finish that sketch and then I'll create a new sketch and it'll be right on this plane. So I'm gonna orbit around so you can see where we're going. And we want to create a center point rectangle right here. So I'll create rectangle, center rectangle. I'll click on this point and I'll pull out 1.5 tab 1.5. This is all locked down. I can finish my sketch. Then I'm gonna create a sweep. So I'll click sweep. It asks me for the profile. I'll click both of these profiles. And then the path will be this path. And notice now it's going to cut out that channel through the window and I'll say, okay. So now we have this nice channel in the window and I'm going to go ahead and activate the top level component. I'll create a new component and I'll call this glass. Then I'll create a sketch right on this plane. And I can just project in that feature. So I'll press P, I'll click project, this face, okay. Then I'll press E to extrude. I can just grab this. And what I'll do is instead of giving it a distance, I'm gonna say the extent type is two object. And then I'll come over here and I'll make sure I click the inside of the channel on the other side. So then it just goes all the way across. I want a new body and I'll say, okay. So now I can go back up to the top level component. I can add in any chamfers or fillets that I need. And of course I can add appearances. And if I search in appearances and type glass, I can drop on glass for a window. And then in my render workspace, this will be clear as you can see here. And then I have a nice piece of glass inside my box and they're both separate components. So you can add windows and things to lots of different objects in Fusion 360.